Hello everybody, it is your not so friendly neighborhood Bato Spike um, with a new video. Today's video is going to be a Modern Warfare 3 um, gameplay trailer. So the trailer has released today around 1pm, 12pm, I can't remember, but I'm barely watching it right now. I haven't seen any clips of it, I'm very excited for it. Um, you guys already know I am a Call of Duty fiend. I play every Call of Duty, try to uh, get every single camo. I just did it for this last Call of Duty because it was pretty much boring, I didn't enjoy it as much, but... Um, they're saying that this might be the comeback of Call of Duty, so I'm very excited to see what they got in store for us. You guys already know Call of Duty has been in the industry for a very long time, and um, I think for the past maybe like four or five years, it's been a little shaky with the games. Um, people have been playing different games, you know, CSGO, things like that, in, or, in order of the substitute of Call of Duty. But um, let's see how, you know, how um, they made the trailer for this game. I have heard that they have made the trailer pretty long um because of the real the reveal that um they had in the gameplay um uh, when you were when you were to play warzone and then all that shit uh the, the worldwide reveal and all that it was very short so i feel like they compensated in the youtube video so let's see how it is i'm very excited to watch it i haven't watched it yet so i'm very happy that we get to watch it together and i really do hope it is living up to its hype without wasting any more of your time let's get right into the Modern warfare 3 trailer This was in the worldwide reveal. They would put Modern Warfare 3 on the wall. Charlie copies, we're set. Roger that, moving to phase two. Patrol boat two o'clock. Get under. Let's go, Modern Warfare 3. I'm hyped, dude. I can't wait. I'm gonna play it first day. I'm gonna grind that game for the first couple days. I promise. Guarantee grind. Okay, so off rip, I could already see that we are going to be getting a grapple gun. So that that's going to be cool. It's going to be in the campaign. I wonder if we will be getting it in Warzone because obviously when they do put this stuff in the trailer, 100% we are going to be getting it in the game. But it depends. It could only be for campaign or it could also be for multiplayer, which would be kind of hype. Um, but it will be a little bit more. It will change it because it's a little bit different from jetpacks. You know, we had jetpacks. So I wonder if instead of jetpacks, we're going to be using a grappling hook in Modern Warfare 3 to be getting on top of buildings. Um, to be honest, my opinion on that, uh, I wouldn't really want to use the grapple. Um, honestly, like, but, but you know what? It does help out when a lot of people do camp rooftops. Um, it might make it a lot easier for us or anybody to get on top of the rooftop without them noticing type of stuff But they will be a little bit more aware, but I feel like it will make it a little bit more even on the playing field. All right, let's continue Hooks up. Good hook. Let's get up top Trips on. 
Okay, so um, this looks very familiar. It is one of the maps in Call of Duty um, in uh, Warzone. Uh, so the campaign looks like it's gonna be very interesting. The quality is amazing. I'm loving the way it looks. It looks already very entertaining. I can't wait to play the campaign. I'm gonna pre-order it so that I could play the campaign early and have that gameplay for you guys. I will try to literally upload it that same night on the first day. Um, maybe I could stream it, but either way, we're going to see it, but for sure, I will be having gameplay of, uh, the campaign on my YouTube channel, but it looks very cool. It looks very, uh, high quality for it. Well, this is a 4k trailer, but either way, I'm pretty sure when we play the game, it's going to be the same quality, but I could already, I could already see one of the guns right there. Um, it looks like a familiar gun. It looks like, what is that? It could be the scar. Um, it looks like the scar, but you guys already know um, they do make a lot of guns that look alike, like some of the older guns that we had in the older Call of Duties. But uh, they do change it around, change the name, and make it look just a little bit different to give it a different name. But uh, let's see what else, what else they got for us. Hold. One thing I do want to say is the night vision. If this is the night vision. It is way better than the previous night vision that we've had. We've had that green type of night vision where it's kind of hard to see. All you see are the lasers pretty much. So if this is it, that's going to be sick because you can pretty much see everything. It's very clear and it's going to be a lot more enjoyable to play. Okay, the recoil already looks like garbage on that gun, so for sure I would not want to use it. But bro, the gameplay looks so crisp. I love the way the gun looks. I just love the way that the rain is and like the map looks amazing. It looks way better than it does on Warzone. And I'm really enjoying this. Whole I think the campaign is going to be very, very fun. Charlie, you said? Affirmative. All teams agree to go in phase two. Jack. Roger. So for sure, 100%, this is the um, campaign, uh, some of the campaign gameplay. Um, the night vision looks amazing, but I do wonder if we're going to be getting a game mode where we're going to be playing in night vision. Um, this would be so much better because we do have it in the Modern Warfare we have right now, but it is complete garbage. I hate it. I never, ever want to step foot in a night vision gameplay again. I hated that game mode. Um, to be honest, I'm a little bit outdated with Warzone because I haven't been playing Warzone too much. I've been dump I've been dipping into other games because there's so many cheaters in Warzone. Um, but to be honest, uh, cheating has been got has been increasing increasing drastically, especially in other games like Escape from Tarkov. Um, especially with Valorant, sometimes, uh, what's another one? Apex Legends has a bunch of cheaters and hundred percent. The biggest one is Warzone. So, um, let's see how this goes. Like, hopefully it's a little bit, I, hopefully they come up with some anti-cheat. They usually have an anti-cheat. It doesn't really work that good, but, um, you know, I really do hope that they have a better one for this game. Yep, that's a night vision, bro. The night vision is so perfect. I love it. I would not mind at all playing with this type of night vision. Um, it's crisp. It's easy to see. Just as, exactly like how, like how you would want it. The previous game, worst night vision in the freaking world. Moving in the courtyard. Looks like a prisoner transfer. Not our guy. On me. Hold up here. All teams, alpha's in position. Okay, Bravo six. Charlie, good to go. Roger. Fire in the hole. Stand by. Three, two, one. Execute. 
They're taking the bait. Okay, whatever gun, that, whatever pea shooter that is, it is complete trash. The recoil is horrible. Um, for sure on launch, no one is gonna touch that gun. Um, hopefully they just have it just like, hopefully it's just one of the main guns in the campaign. Um, I hope it's not one that like you jump into multiplayer and it's one of the first guns because that recoil is complete trash. Um, hopefully you can upgrade it to where you can fix the recoil because it could be meta. It could be a, it could be one of the best guns out there, but for sure the recoil is bad. Uh, the fact that he's using that sight, but I'm going to be honest, you're not hitting many shots with this gun, even with a good sight like that. Disgusting, bro. Okay, I feel like that sub is actually pretty good. Um, that might actually be one of the subs that people are gonna try to um, already just try to hit hard and try to see if it's one, if it's a really good sub. It looks way more accurate than the AR. Um, I'm liking it. Uh, so we do have the same thing, like the same. You show the gun in the bottom right corner. You have the you have your grenade. You have your uh, whatever. Um, you have your ammo. Uh, what's that? Is that for uh, to change the fire the fire rate? Oh, interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, that's I'm I'm dumb. I'm I'm literally looking. At, it's the night vision. So, uh -huh. oh, okay, so we might be getting night vision. We might be able to use it in multiplayer. But this this is campaign, so not a hundred percent. But it looks like it could be something that could be added into um, Warzone or uh, multiplayer. Hatchway on me. Move. Pop the hatch. Let's go. Stay close. in the tunnels. What's your status? Outside the control room. Waiting on you. Copy. At the gate. Stand by. Full teams. Let's roll from there. So I'm um, just let you guys know, I don't know too much information about this Call of Duty. I did not watch any other reactions. Um, I do know that a lot of them are informational. They do get uh, deep into the information into their YouTube channels. The one thing that I do know is that we are going to be getting a lot of our favorite movements from older CODs. Um, you can slide cancel, you can reload cancel, uh, even tactical cancel. Uh, which we really do enjoy. It makes the gameplay a lot better, a lot more fun. Because to be honest, when you're in a, gun, a game fight and you have to wait for that reloading, um, it's kind of annoying, especially when you want to throw a nade, but it turns out that your enemy has already died. Um, so, in, uh, so in that case, you're going to have to just throw a grenade and it's just going to be wasted, which is pretty cool that you can cancel it. <clears throat> so that's why they're saying Call of Duty is back because of the stuff, the uh, the perks that we did used to have, we're kind of getting them back. So it might be a lot more, inter um, a lot better. Um, so I did hear also that we are going to be getting mostly the same maps from older Call of Duties, or I, I think it will be Modern Warfare 2 uh, maps, but I'm not too sure. But if that is true, then to be honest, they're kind of shitting on their own game because uh, we need new maps. Uh, maybe they have, okay, I heard rumors that there are four new maps that we haven't had before, but I think it's 15 or 20 maps that we are for sure going to be getting back from the past. Um, so I'm not too excited about that. I really did want them to create some newer maps, but hopefully if that is true, um, maybe they upgraded it a little bit better to look a little bit more fun, a little bit more different. And hopefully there are DLCs um, to where they'll be able to be putting out new maps and stuff like that. And hopefully it is free like usual. Like uh, um, they just recently had it to where like DLC maps, you get them for free. So you don't have to buy like uh, a season pass and like that to get all the maps. So we will see. I don't know too much, but um, hopefully those are just some things that we do get. Or um, hopefully we're not missing out too much. So one thing that I kind of don't like about the gameplay trailers, the fact that they use prison 
Um, we already know what this map looks like. You can go in, you can go walk around in, in a war zone and stuff like that. So it's kind of, um, it's kind of frustrating to see that they're kind of releasing a gameplay on a map that we already know kind of a lot about. So there's kind of no mystery to it. I wish they would have used something else, but maybe they're just giving us a little teaser of what the game is going to look like. Maybe this is just going to be one, just one of the maps that they did return, but maybe they have a bunch of different maps throughout the, the campaign, but we will see. I just really do hope that um the campaign doesn't have just a bunch of maps that we already have from warzone and stuff like that uh they just made it into one big campaign map which would be kind of annoying and i really hope that that's not the case kick off the riot roger opening blocks one two four Okay, so at least the hip fire did look good. It did look pretty fun to be able to be on the grapple, uh, go down slowly, and just shoot the enemies without them knowing. That looked very fun. Um, the hip fire didn't look like it was too messy. It was hitting his shots, but um, then again, we don't know. It's still the same trash, the same shitty gun. What is it? The Drea, what Dreaker? The Dreaker 556 Hybrid 14. Okay, is that the name of the gun? Dreaker, Dreaker? Maybe I said it wrong, but uh, we'll find out what it's actually called in the future. Okay, I do like, like the ranking it like a riot theme, you know how it is. In riots in prison, they throw, um, you know, things that are on fire just to, you know, you know, you know the basic things of a riot to make it look a little bit more intense, you know, hopefully. Um, I wonder if they let the prisoners out. I, maybe you can shoot the prisoners in there or something like that. Like, I wonder what they're going to do with this. I wonder if they're just going to leave them in there. Um, you know what? I'm going to be honest. Can you shoot them in the campaign? Like, can I turn to my left and shoot them while they're in the cage? Um, let's see, like, we'll be able to see once we get, once we play the, uh, gameplay. Okay, so when he changed the site, it did look a little bit like the recoil got better. So maybe it's just the site that made it look like it has bad recoil. But if you do put a red dot in it and if it's a lot better, it could be a pretty good gun. 30 round mag. Um, so it could be a, a one of the best ARs, but we'll see. Usually um, when we do get these trailers, we do see the, um, the first AR firsthand. And it does usually end up being the most OP gun in the game. Yeah, see, once it's the red dot, it does look a lot more usable. Alpha moving on sub level. Let's get our guy. Wait, oh, so this is an extraction. Ready, breach? Okay, I get it. All right, I get it. So they are teasing us to see that who is behind that those closed doors. Um, I wonder if we know anybody that got maybe kidnapped or you know taken away or something like that. Maybe they got captured. Um, but 100%, this is a teaser. Um, I was excited. I wanted to see like who we were gonna who we were gonna be extracting. So, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait for the campaign in order to do that. But let me tell you my overall opinion. The game looks great. It does look very high quality. I love the night vision. Um, the night vision. The previous cards were comp they were green. You know, we're going into that blue. I don't know. I didn't play the Modern Warfare two. Uh, um, uh, campaign so I don't know if that night vision there is pretty good I know it did suck on the multiplayer because I did play that game mode to where you can be in the night mode and, and stuff like that um, so I didn't enjoy that but that night vision in this game looks amazing um, the uh, AR first hand the uh, the Drecker Dreaker whatever it's called 
Um, it does have bad recoil when it comes to that sight that it did have on, but when it switched to the red dot, it looked like it was playable. It looked like it was pretty decent. The SMGs already looked pretty good. I think there were two SMGs in there. I could be wrong. It could just look different to me, but firsthand, it did look like it was good. So I feel like maybe if the AR's recoil is that trash, my, people might just switch up to the uh, submachine gun. I don't know too much about this game. If I got anything wrong, I am sorry, you guys. Um, I just, I haven't done that much research. I wanted to literally just go into the trailer without having to see it. I didn't see it on Gamescom at all. I literally just seen that the, tr the trailer was released today, a couple hours ago. And I was like, cool, I'm going to do my first hand reaction, but it, is, it looks fun. I really do hope though, that we do not get most of the, um, the same maps that we already had. Um, to be honest, that would be very disappointing because I do not want to play the same COD over and over and over again because a lot of people, um, we did have Warzone for what, two, two years until we were, we got two new maps to play Warzone. Um, so there's just so much, there's so many questions that a lot of people have. Maybe some have already been answered and I'm going to do a little bit more research just so that I can search it up myself. Um, that way I'm a lot more pre prepared for when the first, uh, day of the open beta comes out and also I can play the campaign and I'll be a little bit more familiar and also we can probably see what type of guns they have in there in the in, in the beta so we can see what we're going to be using when the official game comes out but I'm going to be pre-ordering this game so that firsthand I will be able to give you bring you guys a whole bunch of gameplay once the beta comes out I will literally record hours and hours of gameplay so I can drop gameplay every single day until release day um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding that day but thank you guys so much for all your love and support I just wanted to give my honest reaction there's not too much um, that I can provide for you on research wise on information wise because i just didn't search up too much but firsthand just watching the trailer somebody that's not that into call of duty like let's say just a normie they play apex legends or things like that um i feel like 100 percent this looks very entertaining it looked fun overall the campaign looks like it's gonna be fun the quality is great this is a 4k trailer i feel like this is gonna be they released this trailer to see like how it would look like on the playstation 5 or a uh, pc that can hold up uh, 4k quality um, I, for sure, for me, I have a Razer um, laptop. Uh, I spent a lot of money on it. It has, uh, it's a 12 gen uh, Intel Core i9 uh, 12, uh, uh, 12900H processor, 14 cores, 20 threads, up to 5 gigahertz. Uh, I got the GeForce uh, RTX 3070 Ti. Um, and I got uh, my GPU is 8 gigabytes of GDD, GDD R6 uh, VRAM. So it's going to be able to play uh, pretty high quality. Uh, gameplay for you guys so i'm gonna just try to bring you guys nothing but the best but i'm very excited for this game i hope you guys are but thank you guys for all your love and support if you haven't already please hit that like button and that sub button it really helps out the channel helps me grow on this youtube world so that one day i have a plaque up so one day you guys help me get but thank you guys so much for your love and support i'm very excited for this game and we're gonna be playing any, any other games that do release before this but as of today i'm very excited for modern warfare 3 and i really do hope that you and me we could probably game it as soon as the beta comes out. But thank you guys so much. You guys already know what it is. A very tough world out there. Bad people. Um, soldiers. I don't know. Bad soldiers. Whatever. Man. What, what type of outro would I have for videos like this? Hmm. When it was you guys. It was your Vato Spike. And I really hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.